let's start out with some of the newcomers. Uh, there's a lot of them, guys. I mean, from Quinn Ewers to Jai Hall to all those big freshman offensive linemen coming in from that great uh, recruiting class. We It's a total transformation, and I think it's going to be good for the team. What do you think, D4? Yeah, we have a lot of exciting uh, transfers coming in, and as far, as far as that, I mean, we have some exciting freshmen coming in. This is a very – very upside freshman class. I don't think people are realizing, and we, we were talking about before the show, someone like Cam Williams, who may be, just be a three-star, but he's exciting, a massive human being, an SEC top lineman coming in. Um, but we'll get we'll get into that in a minute. Yeah, 100%. And Cam Williams is definitely one of those names people need to look out for. Like you said, a three-star. But I always love the multiple sport athlete. He played basketball. He was a pretty good basketball player. So that shows you the um, quickness and agility that you need from someone on the offensive line along with the big body. So I'm really excited about him. Um, let's start on the offensive side of the ball. Who is someone you're looking for that you think will come in uh, freshman or transfer that will have immediate impact, not name Quinn Ewers? I think we, we'll skip that one. Uh, I'm in a three-way battle right now for the ones I'm excited about. Of course, I'm excited for uh, Isaiah Noir, uh, Nayer. Uh, he is just a big play receiver. I mean, last year at uh, Wyoming, he had 39 catches, 791 yards, and 11 touchdowns. I mean, Worthy had 12 touchdowns last year. I know he's coming from a slightly uh, less relevant program of course but you see what he done in the spring game there's all kinds of uh clips of him making absolutely crazy insane catches in fall fall camp so uh him i'm excited for the two big guys uh, uh campbell and banks uh to get in there you you could definitely tell by the clips that i've seen that freshman offensive line is massive compared to the older guys so uh, I'm excited for those two coming in. And, of course, uh, Nair, uh, big play receiver, and, and somebody to compliment Worthy. 100%. I agree with that. I think Isaiah Nair is one of those guys that's going to help Xavier Worthy just become more explosive. Obviously, he's already explosive, but it's one of those things where if you only have one guy like that, defenses can put two guys on him. And even if they wanted to throw three at him sometimes, and he's not really going to be able to do much, he's going to be neutralized. So they're not going to be able to do that with Isaiah Nair. He stretches the field. He's huge. Um, he's athletic. He's got good ball skills. So I really think he's going to help out Xavier Worthy the most. And I wouldn't be shocked if he leads the team in yards and touchdowns. And But I still expect Xavier Worthy to still have a fantastic sophomore season. I still think he's probably the overall better NFL prospect. But I expect Isaiah Nair to help him out a lot. And him, uh, being, a, him being a 6'3 guy, that makes every ball a 50-50 ball, mm -hmm. whether he beats you or not. He's, he's that type of receiver that he can just go get it. 100%. And uh, – no, uh, piggybacking off that point Quinn Ewers he doesn't have to be as accurate and that's something that I mean young guys kind of struggle with when they get um just getting used to the speed of the game and guess mm -hmm. what that's the quarterback's best friend you go you can throw up a 50 50 ball and sometimes it's the 70 30 ball with the guy like that and he can help it out help him out he doesn't have to be as accurate so I think that'll help out another guy that I think people kind of you know got away from since all these other wide receiver transfers and Jaleel Billingsley which basically I think he's going to mm -hmm. play a lot of wide receiver even though he's a tight end um is Brennan Thompson. I think Brennan Thompson is going to be good in this offense. I think they're going to use him in a lot of gadget type situation, probably a lot mm -hmm. of screens, bubbles, uh, hand, uh, handing the ball off to him. I expect a lot and a lot of just deep balls. I expect him to have probably not a gigantic impact, but when he does play, I expect him to make enough of an impact where you're like, oh, who's that guy? And then you say his name and we kind of forgot him about him. And not to even mention Troy O'Meary. Troy O'Meary has been talked about for so many years, but he just can't stay healthy. That's his biggest issue. Another big body wide receiver, he could really help in the red zone. So hopefully he can stay healthy. I think the wide receiver room is the second best room on this team. I think it's really exciting. And I think it's going to continue to get better under this coaching staff. Uh, some Somebody that we're not even, even mentioning as well, uh, Ajay Hall. I mean, just a, a guy that came in to Alabama as a highly touted prospect, you know, he's going to have his opportunities. And like you said, Brendan Thompson, a guy that runs a 10-2, is absolutely insane fast. And like you said, using him in gadget plays, whatever they need, uh, maybe in the return game, you never know. Uh, so I'm excited about him as well. Uh, yeah, uh, 
and Tariq Milton. I mean, Sark definitely has a type when you look at the wide receivers. He loves fast guys. He doesn't like small fast guys. He likes you to be 5'10 to six foot, and he wants you to be blazing speed. So uh, that is 100% his type. You saw it at Alabama. You're seeing it now at Texas with the guys recruiting. I think it's really exciting, and I think it's going to open up all kinds of possibilities for this Texas offense.